Welcome to Rate My Gadget, and I'll be showing you how to set up the Google Nest Mini um, for a child in this instance, but it can be for an independent user, so that they can listen to Spotify on their account without impacting your account. So you need to have, first of all, the family package where all of you have several different logins for Spotify. So the Spotify family account allows you to have several users um, using one account. Um, and what that means is if one's playing through, let's say, your phone, another's playing through a laptop, another one's playing through a Google Nest Mini, as long as they're playing through the individual logins, then it doesn't interact. So if you didn't have that and you had just one Spotify user, as soon as you try and play the Google Nest Mini, it will stop music playing on, let's say, your phone or a Sonos system or in the car or whatever it may be. So <clears throat> obviously giving each of the individual children a Spotify account, not only means that when they're playing music, it won't stop your music playing, but it also means that you can control their account as well, so you can make it a bit more kid-friendly, and I'll show you how to do that. First things first, you need a Spotify family account. So here we go. So I've got three Google Nests. Two. Three. Right, okay, so before you do anything, you need to go on to your, you need to get your phone out. Android, this only shows you, unfortunately, for Android phones, because they're a little bit more friendly with Google. If you haven't got an Android phone, then get onto your laptop, um, or you can also get onto a PC as well. So Android phone, Android tablet, or your laptop. Let's see how you do it. First things first, you need to go to uh, gmail.com. And what you're doing is you're setting up you're creating an account. So go gmail.com and then you'll create an account and just put it for myself, okay? And then what you're doing is you're setting up an account for your child. So once you've completed all this, make sure you keep your password um, and save that. And then when it gets to the next bit. So this last bit tells you, do you want to recover email address? Put your own personal email address in there. And then for the date of birth, put something that's over 18 so that they're not considered a child and therefore it won't limit them later on. And then once you confirm that. Okay, so now you've got the, the email address for your child created, okay? So you want to click sign up. So now you're going to sign up as your child. So put the email address. Now you can create a password. You can create the same password that you had. Asks for your date of birth. Put in a adult date of birth. So don't put the child's date of birth and because what it will do is it will limit tremendously the music. Now, obviously not taking any kind of responsibility, you as parents need to ensure that you're happy with the, the level of um, music that they can listen to. So there is a dedicated child's Spotify if you do want that. So there you go. So you created... So there you go, you've created your Spotify account for your child. Now what you need to do is you log out of that and you log into whoever is the owning member of the family account, okay? So you go back in, log in to the main user with your account, okay? Now if I go down here and I go to my account, okay? You'll see it's got premium family on the, on the left hand side, okay? So that premium family account, if we have a look. You will probably have nobody on here, but what you want to do is you want to click this add to family plan. Okay, and then you can go. So this get kids, you can do that for listeners under 12, but it will really strongly limit the music they can listen to. I have gone for invite to the family and then I will send that via an email to my child's account okay so what you can also do is copy that link in there so now you hit accept invite and you log in with your child's 
Now, you've added your child to the family plan, okay? Um, and that means that that individual can have their own Spotify account, which you're logged into at the moment, um, and that Spotify account means that when they listen to it on their future Google Nest, then it means that you won't bother your account. Um, so this is the first time you're turning on your Google Nest. So go into your Google Home app find the Google Nest and make sure in the home app you're logged in as your child and then once you've found the speaker and you've added it under your child's account it will start asking you questions around using the Google Assistant etc etc so this is the easy bit you turn the speaker on um, if you've already turned it on then it's not a problem you link it to your child's account through Google Home app now I didn't bother with all of the recognize your voice get personal results because I very much wanted to limit it my child no youtube premium now where it says listen to music and radio this is where you can link it to spotify you can do it later so untick that just push ok and do that later on again i just i declined all of the stay in touch and that's it bedroom speaker is ready hi i'm your google assistant here to help to learn a few things you can do continue in the google home app so now what you'll find, oh, not there. Okay, Google, play from Spotify. Your Spotify account needs to be linked. So because you haven't linked Spotify, you're going to have to do that. So if you come right out to the front page of Google App and hit that settings button top right, and you'll go down and you'll find music. So when you click on music, there'll be a Spotify free service available. Click on that. And then it'll ask you, do you want to link your account? Yes, you do. Now, there'll be a name at the bottom that says, do you want to link this account? If that name isn't your child, then you need to log out of your Spotify app and log in as them. So you'll notice it's saying you agree Google will be able to view Spotify, view your activity, take actions, and you're logged in as Charlie. Agree. So as long as you're logged in as your child's name, there you go. Okay, so now it's linked. So now if I go back, go back, home settings, Okay. Okay, Google. Play Eminem Stan. Stand by Eminem. Sure. Playing on Spotify. Sorry, I can't play music when content filters are turned on. So that means that basically now, through the Spotify app, I have limited to what he can listen to. So he can't listen to explicit music. So if I try to play any explicit music through here, what it does mean is that he's now playing through his Spotify own account. Okay. So also on here, I've got other cost devices as well. So that's it. After you've done that, then what you do is you change your Google account back to your own um, and you re-log into Spotify. You can remove as well this account from your phone. That's it. So that's it. That's how you set up your Google um, Nest for your child. Um, you'll be able to control the volume um, and also you can log in as them and see what they've also been listening to and all of those if you really want to be that kind of that kind of parent. Um, but the other thing is, so let me just show you. So now that you've set it up, okay, Google, phone mum. Sure, to help you with that, I need your permission to allow assistant personal results on this device. You can turn on personal results in settings in the Google Home app. So that means that because you have the Google Home app, and you have the password, you're the only one that can make those changes. So you'd have to, if you wanted to activate that, you'd log in as your child again um, into the Google Home app, and then you would change the settings um, on that. Um, again, you know, with Spotify, so OK Spot, OK Google, play Eminem Stan. Stan by Eminem, sure. Playing on Spotify. Sorry, I can't play music when content filters are turned on. OK, so basically in the Spotify app, you've put on filters. So if I just try OK, Google, play Eminem Stan, the radio edit. Stand by Eminem, sure. Playing on Spotify. Sorry, 
I can't play music when content filters are turned on. So in some songs, it will let you play it if you can find the right edit. Depends on your child as well, if they're interested in listening to that kind of music. Um, you do find in some instances, which is quite interesting, that some songs will be banned, um, even though you may not know they've got explicit content in there, maybe because it's, you know, fast rapping or whatever it may be. But that is how you set up your Google Nest. So now I've got in our house, I've got three Google Nests all assigned to my children, which have got their own Spotify accounts. And it means that my Spotify account is the premium family member. They are linked to that. And it means that if I'm listening to Spotify on my system, on my phone, it won't stop when they start to play. And more importantly, if you've got more than two speakers in the house, they can play independently from one another as well. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, please do like, please subscribe.